to continue to rain all day. I thought it might. So I've worked hard all day. I'm having shouting myself a little tiny glass of white wine with a few naughty chippies. Oh dear. But I'm cooking. I know I'm being naughty, but I'm cooking those beautiful yellow. Oh, they're almost done. Beautiful yellow zucchinis. Oops, I just realised I wasn't focusing on them. So I've just been frying those off. I'm going to turn it right down now, actually. Right, right down. Because they're just about to through now. It doesn't take long. Nice and golden. And I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a little bit of tomato. Now, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to stop and start. There we go. I'm back. You realise it's impossible to open things, don't you? <laughs> so I've just added a little bit of organic um, tomato passata to make sort of a sauce. I don't want it to be particularly like a sauce as such, but it's just going to be a little bit liquid, and then they'll just soften up a little bit more. I'll just, I'm going to leave that on really, really slow. And tonight, because it's a, the first cold day, literally, since I've been here, well, no, there were a few cold days when I first arrived, weren't there? But anyway... Love my tiles. <laughs> I'm just making a little sort of sauce to add a few gnocchi, potato gnocchi to. So it's going to be kind of a little bit of a warm and comforting dinner. I've had a hard day today. It's been emotionally hard, mentally hard, challenging, let's say. Very, very challenging in so many ways. And I am exhausted and it's a Friday night and it's raining outside and I'm on my own. So, I think, the wind's still blowing out there, yeah. I think a little bit of comfort food is on the cards, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you agree with me? So, some nice potato gnocchi with a lovely zucchini and tomato salsa, sugo, whatever you want to call it. There we go. I'll show you the finished article. It almost feels like the kind of weather you could light a fire, but I know I'd get too hot. But I might get a little bit of wood because going into late October, early November, it might feel cosy if I have a little fire in the kitchen. So I think it'll be lovely sitting here or standing and cooking and maybe even having my little dinner or my drink here at my new little island and watching the flames. They'll keep me company. this morning and as you can see I've got a cardigan on. Autumn has really arrived. Oh, my sunglasses are falling off. I've got my rubbish. <laughs> Dropping it down to the garbage bin on the way. Oh, I'm doing something different this morning. I am going to the dentist. <laughs> How exciting. Oh, look at the sun shining back on the house. Oh, it's glary. I don't know if that will help. There we go. Look at that. Oh, beautiful morning sunshine on our front back wall. It's just gorgeous. It's why it's such a lovely spot to sit on on that balcony. Now I'm going to cop. Oh, the sun in my eyes. Oh, gosh. Beautiful sunshine, though. It's going to be a lovely day. The weather's being really lovely, apart from just a rainy day here or there. So I'm just walking the back streets here of Kiani. Little back way around to get to the garbage bin and then the dentist. So it's the first time I've been to the dentist in Italy, but I've heard wonderful stories about our local dentist and um, the prices here are ridiculously low <laughs> in comparison to Australia. So seeing I have a sore tooth at the moment and it's a tooth that I have to regularly have cleaned and checked every six months, a little bit of a problem there. So it just started to play up on me and I thought, oh, I'm not going to leave it. I'll go and check out the dentist which I've met her, of course, and um, lovely lady. And if you haven't seen her house, that's actually on sale with her clinic, it's in a recent uh, vlog I did, a video I did on one of my house tours. So I'll put the link in here for you. And um, amazing house, incredible qu quality and value for money, really, when you think about it, because it's a, a massive home 
with a full dental clinic below so which could be turned into anything of course so anyways um oh gosh what a beautiful view this morning it's just lovely walking by that's the little car park behind me of the hotel up the road now the dentist is straight ahead up the road but i'm just going to turn here downwards just to pop my garbage in the bin and then i'll be off well, that was a lovely experience. <laughs> um, I really needed that. I do have a couple of little problems that play up sometimes. So she was so lovely. They had, sorry, I'm puffing. I just ran up a little hill. Um, they had um, equipment that I've never seen in Australia. I must admit, I pay a lot more to go to the dentist in Australia and her equipment <laughs> dental equipment was far superior and um very very impressed with the whole process very gentle <laughs> very lovely we had a lovely conversation and um anyway yes and i looked cheaper than what it would cost me to do the same sort of things in australia that's for certain so that was a great experience i'm glad i've made a relationship now with my lovely local dentist and i would be more than happy to return so another great thing about living in a little village in tuscany and knowing that it, what was that not even a five minute walk i think it's taken me three minutes <laughs> to walk back and um look at that fantastic no waiting around beautiful clinic beautiful dentist and her sister is the assistant <laughs> two lovely ladies was just awesome. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm just down at my local supermarket with the beautiful Barbara who's just walked into scene. Um, of all the things you decide to find on the shelf, you don't think you'll find baby just born turtles, tortoises? Um, oh, actually, I didn't ask her which variety it was. Now, she's taking care of them because they were just born in her mum's garden, and she's taking them home to her garden to put in her garden. Her mother has the adults. So, these little darlings are very slow. Look at this little one here. little treasures they'll be very well like, taken care of don't you worry because her mum's had one for many 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 years and they're her babies not what you decide to find or think to find in a little supermarket in a village in Tuscany but not for sale home from shopping and I th you would have seen the <laughs> little turtles but I just wanted to show you oh gosh I just can't resist zucchini flowers even though they're a pain to cook and like for one person you know I'm probably hardly even going to bother doing anything I'll just throw them into something I'm making because you can eat. of course they're edible and they're lovely but they're so pretty I just couldn't resist and they were so fresh and the fenocchio at the moment or the fennel is in season so it's really big and delicious and wonderful um I'm still getting some beautiful stone fruit and I'm making the most of it but because my gosh the stone fruit here is so delicious the tomatoes are still amazing end of season tomatoes are still amazing and they're all beautifully like these are homegrown really beautiful local tomatoes so got all my other bits and bobs in my basket it's great coming in i just stood back to show you it's great coming into the house and having a plop 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 onto my new little island i just love it ah oh, wonderful now time to think of what to make for lunch but first i'll talk to david on the phone did some washing my shirt's hanging there to dry i've got washing out off the balcony it's beautiful it's cool but it's a beautiful autumn day Hmm, really interesting lunch I've just thrown together. So I had some little tiny, what they call chiliacci, which is tiny little, tiny little like boccantini type things, little mouthfuls of mozzarella. I've got the leftover of my lovely yellow zucchini that I cooked in some tomato last night that I said to you I was putting together with a few little um, gnocchi, potato gnocchi that I forgot to show you. But anyway, 
Um, I cut up some fresh celery that I just bought, but the bread, now I know it looks like bread, oh, but the people that have the Fortin up the road, they grow all their own grain, they mill all their own flour, and I didn't know, but she said to me this morning, would you like to try the... Um, what did she call it? Grano Antico. And I went, oh, that sounds interesting. She said, we only do it on a Saturday. I went, oh, yes. She said, look, let me cut into it and show you. And she cut a big loaf in half to show me because knowing I wouldn't take a full loaf. Um, I think you can see it better in this one if I zoom in. Can you see all those grains? I can actually see different, yes, different color grains. So they grow um, ancient grains on their property and they're now once a week I think they're trialing it they're making ancient grain bread so this is organically grown grains here in Kiani just down the road that are milled by these people then it is baked at their bakery I mean how much better can it does it get and I've not been able to eat bread for years I don't eat bread normally back in Australia hardly ever because I don't do well with gluten and with flour and with lots of things. Um, so I've been sort of on a bit of a special diet almost for years, most of my adult life. This bread does nothing to me. It doesn't cause me any bloating, any problems. <laughs> um, and honestly, it's just so beautiful. So lovely little light, fresh, healthy lunch with my new favorite bread. I'll be getting more of that, that's for sure. Buon appetito! Cerco un paese dominato dall'amore e dove ciascuno sappia che la vita non è eterna. Er Mercatini, Renzo Mercatini. Oh, what a beautiful thought. It means that he was looking for a place to be where there was love and where each person that lived there knew that life was not eternal. In other words, to me, if I read between the lines, it means that he looked for a place full of love where people lived for the day, seized the moment and lived their best life because they knew they weren't here forever. They knew life wasn't eternal and therefore life was precious and each moment was to be seized and embraced and lived to the very best. What a wonderful philosophy that I fully embrace. Embrace. You were so right. Renzo Mercatini, you were so, so right.
today I've come gone to IKEA but now I'm at a one of the largest hardware stores I've ever been to since I've been in Italy. Just looking at paint effects. So I was looking at this Sabbiato. Um, I'm looking at different paint effects for some of the walls that we need to render downstairs when we do the cantina project. So I'm just looking at the different colours. We're going very neutral there. So looking at the different colours and the effects that you can get. So that one's Sabiato. The one that's next to it is Velatura. Veiled effect, they're saying in English. Then you have Pietra Naturale, which has like a kind of like a stone finish, which I don't want because um, all the other walls are stone. So I do not need something looking like stone. Oro Grezzo. Mm. Maybe not, although quite lovely, kind of. I like that look when it looks like it's gives a bit of shade and light. Don't like them when they have too much texture like that. Argento Grazzo. Um, and this one looked quite lovely as well, although it does say it's metallic, though I can't work out why it would be metallic. It doesn't look metallic to me. Maybe I'm wrong different colorways there so I'll be sharing these with David obviously so you've got lots of different effects and then I was looking at some lovely tiles around one of the other aisles as well Ricordi Calce e Penello oh what's that one? Oh, that's quite lovely you, oh, you might not pick that up on the video but it's got you can actually see the lines of the paint brush but which is quite lovely anyway now I'm headed for showers I've done doors by the way now I'm headed for showers <laughs> lots of fun looking at doing a walk-in shower which these ones they're using the English word walk-in so there's different styles and these are all one standard size which I actually think is going to work for us in fact so 189 that's got a crystal line through the center with clear top and bottom or you've got clear or you've got crystallized glass 289 they're great prices a dark smoky one which I don't like crystal 120 that's crystal and clear that's quite light nice oh and they've even got a smaller size again gosh for only 119 that's if you only need 80 centimeters mm, very interesting indeed plus I think this is the bath I was looking at which is only 599 Victoria Vasca 5.99 and it is 165 long which is the lo longest we can get nice curves um, or the next one was 609 just a little bit more although I think I prefer oddly enough oh I see that one's matte ah so it depends on whether you want the matte look or the shiny look oh yes the matte is actually really lovely isn't it might go more with the organic style I'm doing interesting also I'm looking at a floating thing this actually looks perfect to me although I don't want a blank sink we actually wanted to get a nice stone I'm looking at a stone sink but similar size this is really lovely simple modern but it has the really good size drawer underneath and spots to put things and so base 150 top 99 good heavens sink 59 oh my goodness the prices are incredible specchio oh if you wanted the the mirror with the light it's it's a lit mirror 65 90 goodness gracious me <laughs> this is the cheapest bathroom stuff i've ever seen fantastic actually i just realized at the top it says composizione so if you want to get the entire thing 47460 and you've got the lit up mirror the sink the tap 
the top and the floating cupboard underneath. That seems pretty darn good to me. This is also the mirror that I was looking at getting. I really love these backlit mirrors. I think they're awesome for ladies to do their makeup, but it just has a lovely look and a glow. And it's going to be up against a really nice new either stone or rendered wall. So I think it'll look pretty. And that's 468 for the whole composition. But let's have a look at the price of the specchio. There you go, specchio. Lit up, uh, it's with the light included 129.90 goodness gracious I'm just blown away blown away <laughs> my goodness I've just found the grooviest toilets which is exactly what I wanted something really organic shaped now just to give you an idea these lovely ones that sit on the floor 209 for the bidet or the toilet and that's called a sedile Bormo, that's the lovely, very matte looking toilet seat, and they come in different colours. These are the ones that hang from the wall, like in the photo, which we're not sure yet what we can have because the stone walls, I'm not sure whether you can do that off a stone wall or not, um, but I don't mind. I think that looks gorgeous sitting on the floor, and I really like that colour as well. So they also have matching sinks, but we're going to go, I think, with stone. So, just to give you, these are all the white suites, but as you can see, there are so many lovely ones, different shapes, incredible prices. They have the matching, that's quite a unique looking one with the sort of stone looking edge on it. Just to give you an idea, that's 49 euros. <laughs> Gracious me. These are fairly groovy looking shapes up here as well. Look, we are in the design capital of the world, I suppose. So even at a great big hardware shop, which obviously doesn't have the big designer name things in here, but for someone on a big budget like I am, you can still get that incredible ultra modern look. Very beautiful, whatever you want, or you can go for very classical. I've never seen so many toilet seats in all my life. <laughs> There's a plethora of toilet seats. Gracious me. There's the tile section above, uh, sorry, beyond which I went to. I went through that already and found a couple of things that were nice, but I think I'll go to a tile, actual tile shop for tiles. And let's keep on going. Now I'm really loving these combos with the big shower head, the rain shower, the handheld shower, and all on the bar with the soap dish I just love that kind of thing it makes it simple look at that that lovely one there in black which I think I am going to go for black is only 73.50 73 euros 50 you have square heads round heads it's a very groovy looking one there but that's a bit techno looking to me <laughs> I don't really look that like that look like that there's lots of these combos let me have a look there's another one down here oh these are quite lovely as well that's a very large rain head as well that one now oh that's a lot dearer but still gosh it's still a wonderful price look at that 219 or 259 that really large one 259 again with the handheld shower that one has a handheld shower that's kind of looks like a very long microphone <laughs> and then look at these let's look at the price i can't believe the price of these because these things if you saw them in a bathroom you think Wow, that is incredible. Look at that. But look, 149. 149 for all of those. Just amazing. Goodness gracious me, I'm home. What a big day that was. It was so exciting. Um, I just wanted to show you my haul from IKEA. I know, it's just Ikea. Um, but I'm so excited because when you live in the country and you don't have a car like me, um, when a friend says, do you want to come to Ikea? I go, of course, because there's always bits and bobs that you need that you didn't know you need, but you need them once you get there. <laughs> and also there were things that I definitely did need. So 
Um, I just couldn't believe how much I got actually for the price as well because it's just such great value, isn't it, really? So I bought some plants that are out on the front balcony that I'm going to have to plant up. But I've got three, one, two, three beautiful, rather well-sized already, lovely variegated ivies because I just love the whole thing of the tumbling ivy. So I'm going to have more and more and more of those. I bought a lovely little aloe vera plant because I just think they're wonderful. They grow anywhere and they're great. They're handy plants to have if you burn yourself or something. I bought a three euro long big umbrella because it was pouring rain one day and realized I didn't have a decent sized umbrella to cover myself. Then just lots of knickknacks, didn't have a little juicer, bought some hooks for this lovely rail that you'll understand once I get it up on the wall. I have to decide where I'm putting it though. I think it's going to go here. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure it's going to go there and it's going to have um, a little basket on it and it's going to have the lovely sort of brass colour hooks that you can then hook on your, you know, your ladles and things. It looked really pretty. I've seen them in other people's houses and it looked pretty in the shop. So I thought I need something like that. So I think that's going to go there and I'm hoping I can do that myself. We'll sh we shall see. Lots of other bits and bobs. A couple of little nice timber um, chopping boards because I only had one large one. So little ones are handy and some nude light bulbs lighter than what I had upstairs it felt they felt too strong some scissors I had no proper house scissors just to chopping up things and some sponges some little um scented candles scented candles that's that this is a little kitchen trolley that I'll have to put together I'll show you when I'm done um it just looks like on the picture I'm showing you upside down but it's just one of those simple little trolleys on um wheels that they're in there somewhere and it's actually going to go there i measured especially and it fits in that spot really well and being black you won't even notice it's there but again it's just a handy little thing that i can pull out with bits and pieces or i can hide it around the back of the kitchen if i need to later and then i just got more hangers and a few pretty colored glasses just to add to my glass collection some strip lighting led strip lighting that i might put under one of the cupboards i haven't decided but just couldn't resist it that's to put my serviettes basket that what else oh two of these little artificial plants that i've just popped there for now but i actually had another idea for those so we'll see after where they end up so anyway that was all of that i think that's it folks yeah i think that's it but i was really really happy um oh gosh you know like when you don't get out to shop oh of course i forgot i popped it up there but it's not staying there you'll see where it goes later i bought a lovely big artificial um white hydrangea i've just stuck it in the bottle there but it, that looks silly i know but it won't stay um i've got a feeling it's going to go up in that vase the lovely blue gray and white vase up there where I've got a little plant at the moment. I'll play around. I just wanted to get a lovely flower to put there, but if it doesn't work, I'll find the right spot for it. Anyway, it's exciting. It's always fun to come home. Lots of projects. I'm such a busy girl at the moment. Actually, I don't really need another project, to be honest with you. I've got so much to do, but I love fiddling around at home. It, and also the wonderful thing about it today was actually more of a reconnaissance tour as well, really, like you saw, looking at bathroom things, looking at all the things for downstairs in the cantina, looking at decorations that I thought might work. It was so much fun. It really got those creative, inventive juices going. And plus, it was just nice to get out, <laughs> go, go to Pisa and do something different. So there you go. There's my little shopping haul. I thought you might like to have a look. All of that, by the way, from Ikea, everything, 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 plants, everything here, the little trolley, brolly, all the plants outside, I spent 103 euro. So to me, that's incredible, really incredible value. Um, for what I'm used and like I was showing you with the bathroom things I'm so used to looking at things that are so much more expensive in Australia so we really think we're doing well with our shopping here 
especially those little plants. Tell me in the comments if you like those there. I'm all of a sudden thinking I popped them there temporarily, but they're kind of cute. I like the little dribbly bits of green there either side. And I won't be lighting the fire before I go. Or they might end up living there after all. They were for somewhere else, but hey, I can always get some more. Hmm, let me know what you think. Anyway, and if anyone's got any other bright ideas, um, please share them. I always love to hear what people have to say. <laughs> Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Let me get all of this sorted. Let's get this mess out of the way. Just finished one little project. There's my strip lighting. Oh, hang on, let me turn the light off. Mm, oh, isn't that groovy? Oh, and the colour is better in reality than what it seems to be showing up on. Oh, I just love it. Oh, I love it. For seven euro something, what a difference that makes to have a little strip light at night time. It's going to look so cute. Just enough light that when you don't want to have a light on in the house, so to speak. But I love mood lighting. And it's like just the perfect little strip underneath there. Oh, gosh. I need to go back and get more now. <laughs> Love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am on a roll. <laughs> so everything's been put away. Um, I have my new little blocks, actually, that I've bought as well. So I've just left them there for now. Um, but look what I've just finished making. It took me sort of five minutes, just a little click together thing, putting the little wheels on the bottom tiny little cute little thing that look now let's hope actually first trial is with you i did measure it that it would fit here yes oh yes oh actually not quite oh oh that's because it gets a bit narrower at the back oh because of the wheels but do you know what i think that's actually okay what do you all think Mm, being black it doesn't really notice that much I don't think that it's sticking out so it's either going to go there or I'll play with it or it might go behind hidden away anyway but I think that's going to look fine maybe once it's got things on it I might decide whether I actually like it or not but I wanted to get the black because I thought you know how black sort of just disappears and that's just a hole there anyway where there was nothing there so hmm anyways it will find a spot either here or behind it's just again because I don't have a lot of cupboards just a cute little rack with three little shelves on it where I can put you know bits and pieces of food or jars or things like that I wanted to get I'm actually getting some really cool jars tomorrow afternoon um, that I didn't tell you about and they're from they're old pharmacy jars actually like really ancient the, the glass is actually hand blown glass that I'm getting from some friends from a home so because they're such sweet jars I'm um, I was going to actually put like my rice and pasta and and you know different bits and bobs in them and I thought they'd look really sweet sitting on there so maybe once I've got those tomorrow and they've got stuff in them and I put them there I might then realize whether I like it or not or whether I want it somewhere else Anyways, um, oh, actually, quickly, I'll just run upstairs because I'll show you where the hydrangea actually will live. <laughs> That's what it was supposed to do. I think it looks really pretty there. I don't always have beautiful bunches of flowers. David can't send me flowers all the time. So I just thought it just finishes off the vase, a little bit of green, one lovely white hydrangea, which is so pretty. I'm really happy with the house at the moment. Oh, and that's where one of the little plants that I had sitting on the fireplace was meant to go. I had bought one there for that little table just to put in the with the pot plants there. Um, and then I was going to put one somewhere else. But I think I'm just going to leave one on the fireplace for now. I'll still play around over the next few days. You know what it's like. It takes a while sometimes to understand where you want something exactly. So I'll just continue on with my little bits and bobs, but I'm so happy with the pros crest we've been having um, lately. And honestly, since I got this island, what a difference it has made to my life. That was the best find I 
ever at the markets. Everyone that walks in just goes, oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Such a lovely piece. So tomorrow we get our jars, ancient jars, and also I might be picking up a piece of artwork from there as well. Depends. They're fairly expensive artworks and I don't normally spend big money on things, but we'll see. It's an original piece and it's a little bit more of an investment, so I'm not sure yet. Anyway, on Hojo, I'll just continue on.